Welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you a simple stitch. They call it the continental stitch. If I am not correct on this title, comment below. I want to show you a little trick or if you have OCD or maybe you didn't notice, but I'm going to show you something. There's two types of backsides to the continental stitch. Maybe you never noticed, maybe you didn't pay attention, or maybe you did, especially me if you have OCD, or you're a little bit on the crazy side, you will notice that it has two backsides. So I'm gonna show you this continental stitch, okay? So what you do is you take your thread here, and it's just, now remember, on plastic canvas, let me zoom down. Zoom, 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 zoom. there we go. So on a continental stitch, as they call it, from what it said online. You're gonna skip the first box because if you don't, you can do stitches this way and I don't know what it's called, but you can do these little straight stitches, which are kind of cool, okay? But on a continental stitch, you start in the second hole. You don't use the first hole. And it starts out with two. So you're gonna go one, two. You're gonna go straight across. Now, depending on where you stick your needle is how the back is gonna look. For example, this is gonna be example one. I'm not, I'm not gonna go in this hole. I'm gonna go in this hole every time. So by going in this hole every single time, I'm gonna show you the back in a minute, but let's get a, a little bit of a row going here so that you can understand what I mean. Now, if you notice, I'm doing the exact same way every time. I'm not switching it up. I'm not changing anything. I'm gonna keep it this exact same way all the way down my row. Okay. And then here is why. I want you to see the difference. Okay. So now we got a few little stitches in. Okay. Now look at the back. It almost looks like the front, does it not? The front looks like the back, so you gotta be real careful, especially if you're very good at what you do. It wouldn't be a video if I didn't draw on myself. Okay, so that is backside one. Now I'm gonna show you backside two. So I'm gonna go up here. I'm just gonna pick another row. Now we started out, remember, you don't go in here, you gotta skip one. So you'll go here so you've started your first one, okay? Now remember, on this row, we always did the bottom first, but now we're gonna go through the top for this next row. So the next row, we're gonna go through the top. That's gonna give you a different backside. This is the backside that I would use for coasters or the other side I would use for coasters. So either one you can use for coasters. If you want the backside to be flat, you can do it this way, or if you want the back side to be fluffy, like the front, you can do that as well. Now, if you notice, I'm always going through the top this time. I'm not going through the bottom. I'm going through the top. And then I'm going to show you why there's a difference. Okay, same stitch, right? Get the camera up. All right, there you go. You have a fat here and then you have a skinny here. Now, if you notice, this one's off a little bit. And why? Because I didn't start at the top. I started at the bottom when I made the first stitch. So remember, top to bottom or bottom to top. We'll give you these two different designs. Sorry about that, I'm trying to keep it on camera. So that would mean that if I wanted to do this stitch here, I would not start down here, I would start here. So I'll go here and then down. And you'll notice the feel because you know that if you go here, you're just pulling it straight up. And you can tell that, you'll be able to notice that. See how I just pull it through? And I started from the top. And now my design is straight. Start from the bottom. So go here and I start from the bottom and go across.
it's going to be fat. So if you notice that the back sometimes looks like craziness, it's because you started out one way and during some part of the stitching, you changed the direction. The other part is it's easy if you go through here because it's fat. So you'll be able to end your string. If you have this design, it's a little more tricky because you kind of have to wiggle it a little bit. So I often have to get a tinier needle, a smaller needle, one of these little thin ones like this. Uh, if I can get it to come out, it's stuck in there. Okay, so sometimes I have to get a thinner, thin needle. See how the difference in the size is thinner? So that I can get it underneath there. See, it goes perfect under there. And then all I have to do is take this fat one off, cut off a little bit of the tip there because it's fuzzy, and then bend it down, put my string, and then just stick it in there, that little tiny hole. Try to get it all in there. Nope, I didn't make it. All right, let's try this again. Sometimes you don't always get it right on the first try. Ah, come on, make it, nope. All right, so I have to cut it because it is a little bit smaller of a hole. So, okay, so let's press really, really hard. Try to get it in there. Come on, come on, you can do it. There we go. And now, I can just pull it through. You have to pull really hard because it's a lot thinner stitch when you do it that way. See how I'm struggling to get the yarn through because it's such a thin flat. So that's why I recommend doing the bottom to the top because I'm having a hard time getting this to go through underneath the bottom there. Uh, it's not working. Uh, <laughs> I'm struggling, I'm struggling. Oh, it's a pain, but, oh gosh, I'm using all my strength. Now it's easy. So, depending on how you're willing to work. <laughs> so that's the different ways. You can go through the fat side easy, or you can try to struggle to stick it on there, on the thin side. So I hope that helps you understand the different types of backs for this particular stitch. Here we go. Okay. Sorry about the airplane there. I don't know what that was about, but okay. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderfully blessed day. If you have any comments, concerns, questions, please leave it in the comment section below. I hope this helped you know that there are two backsides to the Continental Stitch. The easier to put your thread through and the one that's a little flatter and harder to put your needle through. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.